Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. and a half miles southwest of South City. There it is. There's the island. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. An explosion in the city! It, is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. That's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. They're proving to be a real pain. If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? You got it. I'll let you know if I see anyone suspicious. Maybe one of the other guys found them. <laughs> Tian Shenhan! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's... Yamcha? Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it.
So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. Hmm. Hey. Wait a minute. How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But... they know about all of us as well. Lucky! Yamcha. I hope he's okay. Right. He won't go down that easily. I can't sense their energy, so I can't get a read on how strong they are. I don't like this at all. We mistakenly thought we could read their energy. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, how? Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself.
Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giroux is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well, then, what do you say? See what he's got, huh? Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Yeah! Ah! He, he absorbed the attack? Goku, don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. Absorb the attacks. Give me a break. What? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man. I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. 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 <laughs> if anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Go 
Goku. The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it. I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me. Are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power than train the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Wasn't having a pure heart a prerequisite for becoming a Super Saiyan? Oh, I can assure you, my heart is quite pure. Pure evil. That power is unbelievable. Vegeta's a, a Super Saiyan? This is certainly an unexpected twist. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> 
wrong? Did you make a miscalculation somewhere? Out of my face! Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine, but don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplified Android Terror. Android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them. Just to... <laughs> Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, hey, got anything? No. I still haven't caught sight of him. <laughs> No sign of him having left this rock. I'll make quick work of you. Special beam cannon! Well now, this could be fun. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Special beam cannon! Yeah! <laughs> 
that's all, huh? What are those bones? Ooh. The energy from this thing is incredible. I'm feeling pretty limbered up. Hmm. So that monster hasn't been here. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> This looks like an excellent apple. <laughs> looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. <laughs> So that's all, huh? Looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this! Don't kid yourself, you could never beat me. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Whoa, this power is amazing. Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> well, now, this could be fun. I'll make quick work of you. Oh, 
So that's all, huh? Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. calling your comrades now your energy will be all mine go on android get over here uh, uh, mr piccolo over there <laughs> you're as good as dead <laughs> How did they find me? Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. And what does a weak and what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Eliminate <laughs> Just as I calculate. Don't take this lightly. I can't move. I will eliminate you. I will be taking your energy. Piccolo's power! You've made a terrible error in trying to fight me alone. Yeah, yeah. Special beam cannon! No! I will not be done in by the likes of Piccolo! Swim cannon! Special beam cannon! This is inconceivable! And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I will eliminate Special aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, 
Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean... My... He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma! Do you know where Dr. Zero's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Zero's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way! Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with. But I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. 
Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Boma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. So if Android to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Giroux built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. <laughs> to win. Jeez, it's freezing up here. I kill for a coat right now. Deal with it. I'm cold too. You earthlings are a pain. I will not fail. Highway, huh? Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. You're ready for a real challenge. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 
You could use some more training. Looks like so. I'll make quick work of you. You could never beat me. Looks like a highway. There's a paved road here. Close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've... Never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. But where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Giro wanted, right? To kill Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. 
dare they? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Kill Kakarot? Ha! Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! <laughs> Easy. You'd better give it your all. Looks like some sort of highway. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen, because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, Sixteen. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow, what a letdown. Fine, I'll do it then. Vegeta, are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess. I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Though I guess since you're an android, you're not really a woman. Believe it! <laughs> Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. Let's go! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
I didn't think you had this much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either of you. Dare you! You're running out of steam. I guess I better put you out of your misery.
Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. <clears throat> Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But... aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house. Then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them die separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid. All grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. 
Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Overdo it, huh?